Hey guys, I'm LB, and let us continue the Paralance series with number 5, which the description just has a comma, apparently. And, uh, for some reason, when I subscribed, it put things a little bit out of order. Like, like, 10 comes between 4 and 5 for some reason, and then 9 jumps to 11, so we'll just have to be aware of that. So after 9, I'll have to manually go to 10. Let's, let's get started. I don't know why... Steam and Portal sometimes do that. They, like, get things out of order. Also, I discovered you have to be subscribed to every level in the Paralant series to be able to play any level in the Paralant series because of the way the dependencies are set up. No idea why you would do that, but it has been done. Alright, so the, this is a Q button. Yeah, okay, that's just for the exit. This'll turn off a Fizzler. Oh, that's interesting. The light bridge down here, which will probably be useful for getting over there. And this... does... that? Why do I... Huh. How do... what? Uh... I'm not exactly... sure about what to do here, like... Also, what is this? Oh, that's just if you fall down here, I guess. We. Yeah, that's just the way back up. Alright, so here's the question, right? Once we get over here, the only way to get through here is to walk through a portal, but how... how? The only way to disable the Fizzler is for somebody to get here. You know what? Might have to have ourselves disable the Fizzler and our clone shoots that. Okay, I think that's the answer. Oh, but then... Hmm... Does this infinitely respawn, I wonder? I think let's just- let's just do that first, right? Let's record, and, uh, yeah. We'll just record for a while, and we'll go press that button, and we'll see exactly what happens. Because if that does not automatically respawn, this is gonna be very much more challenging than I was hoping for. <laughs> uh, I think that's enough time. Alright. Ah, good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. It auto-respawns. Awesome. Okay, so now... All we gotta do... Oh, this is actually really- okay, this is makes things a lot simpler. Let's record, orange there, and blue right here. And we are done. Now we just wait for our future self to- oh, we, actually we have to grab- I mean, uh, yeah, we have to take the cube back with us, so I need to stand on this button. Alright, that should be long enough. Alright, save, 
And... gotta go stand on this button. Save, and continue. Okay, that portal got placed. Yeah, we gotta run over here. Okay, clone. Now remember what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to stand on the button. Thank you. And then shoot the portal elsewhere. Which we could do ourselves by stopping the recording, but whatever. Thank you. Okay, so now, we do this. Is there a portal surface out here? Yes, there is! Excellent! Come on! There we go. Alright. Now the kicker is... Oh... Okay, let's uh... <laughs> let's go put this back, shall we? On the button! Man, these things are acting really weird today. Alright, so... What we want to do... ...is basically just record standing on this button. Forever. Forever. We'll record until the heat death of the universe. Which means I'll have to get a special device to switch my computer... Uh, onto a UPS without interrupting its power supply. Th they- those do exist, like, they're for emergencies where you have to transfer, uh, the power of something to another power supply. Those exist, and I'll also have to get a UPS to plug it into. And, uh... I don't know, I'll have to- to- to seek funding to be able to... keep the- keep everything running and all that. And, uh, I'll have to convince the scientific community that it's worth it to keep this going till the heat death of the universe. Uh... Sounds like a lot of work. A lot of unnecessary work for a not very necessary goal. I'd say this is long enough, would you? I feel like the heat death of the universe could have happened by now. The big rip and all that. Alright. Save and play. Portal there. there. And we are... out of here. If I can get the cube on the button. Thank you. And we still got like 12 minutes left in the episode, so let's go ahead and go on to the next. Oh, that scared me. That, that black screen was just a little bit too long. <laughs> I thought the game had crashed. Oh, you're not serious, are you? Alright, I guess they are serious. Actually, it doesn't really matter where I crouch. As long as I'm centered. Alright. Let's record. Record until the heat death of the second universe, after the second Big Bang. And let's see, let's get this guy into position, which is easy enough. And then, we'll just want to put this on our phone's head. that. Oh, well, I guess we just need the clone to hold the cube. Fine. Uh, cord E. 
Recordian. Is it... I forgot already, is it Recordian or Accordian or... Accor accordion, it's Accordian. That's right. Okay, that should- that should be good enough. Why is there a portal surface in here, though? That- that worries me. Ah, no. Ooh. Hopefully that's not the only way to ever open this door, right? Oh. Well, I guess that solves that problem. <laughs> Alright, well. Not exactly sure how that happened. Uh, cause it was not moving when the clone evaporated. Alright, so... Record... Stop recording... Play. Alright. Save... And continue. Also watch this, this levitating cube, it will stop levitating if I do this. Uh, actually, it's the other way around, it's, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that, and... What else do we need? Uh... Eh? And then... our clone. Which, I don't know I'm recording again for, because I already had a recording of this. Alright, we got eight minutes left, on to the next! Meet the turret. Just- just a turret? The single turret? I hope so. Here. Oh my gosh, we have a... a maze? I guess this must be a way to get out. But we have some tunnels, some secret tunnels it seems is all the way up there. Oh, interesting. So I guess we have to use that portal service if we want to get out of here. How long is this? Oh no, that, that's always been there. But there's... There's not- Oh, there's that. Alright, well... It's gonna fall out from underneath me. Oh, well, okay, that was anticlimactic. Uh, wait, how do I get out of here now? Oh, right, cuz, yeah, okay. Cord! I thought I was trapped, but nope, we have a time machine with us. 
that timer... Is that just an infinite- infinite ticking timer? I hope it's infinite. Cause it feels like it's been more than 30 seconds. Yeah, I think that's just the, the puzzle maker bug. Alright. Let's throw that down there. And, uh, get ourselves down there. Whee! Alright. No idea what, what we needed this cube for, or why it was so hidden. But, let's get out of here. Save! Alright. Um, I guess we can put the cube on the button. That'll make things easier, right? How did that guy survive? Must have passed over him. There we go. Ah, uh, looks like all of them. Alright, save, and continue. Alright then. Hope that auto responds. Record. Uncrouch. Stop recording. Oh, it's okay. I have plenty of time to get over here. And then, obviously, I want to take it off. Save, and continue. Where are we going now? Oh! Or, well, where we're going, we don't need no stinking cubes! Who's there? Okay, now we need the light bridge. Okay, that did not work out as I was hoping. Probably should have done the same trick, actually. There, finally. Oh, that actually... messed up one of the turrets, somehow. Okay. Uh oh, is it right? Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate to sound my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!